Hello to the 1311 Configure Group release kickoff recording. I'm Victor Knight, the product manager of the Configure Group, and here is with me Maria Vrachny, the product designer of the group. And let's see what we plan to work on. As you can see, we started to use GitLab for our roadmap view, and we think that this presents very well our plans for the next milestone and ongoing milestones as well. <clears throat> First of all, we are slowly finishing the uh, connection between GitLab and the agent uh, setup and, and all the, the necessary works that are required to provide the CI tunnel for the agent. And we want to start working on that. But before I continue with describing the roadmap, there's one very important note I, I have to make that this list is not priority ordered. Unfortunately, that is not possible with the with this epic view. So this is just ordered by due date. And um, as a result, I'm, we are going to speak about the priorities uh, a little bit later. So anyway, one job that we already started to work on and we want to continue is to have this CI tunnel with the agent. And we hope to ship some very rough first iteration in 13.11. Another topic we are going to work on is auto DevOps. We want to run a design sprint and we will speak about that a little bit later. We have some end-to-end -end tests, outstanding end-to-end -end tests for QA around the agent that we want to finalize in the coming milestone. And then we have an issue that's already ongoing in development in the secrets management area with the group level uh, environment variables that can be attached to specific environments. And a stretch goal, uh, again, related to secrets management is just to, to not allow viewing of previously masked variables on the UI and in API neither. The <clears throat> following epics that we are working on are related to the agent. We have various user interfaces that we would like to ship uh, that provide a simple registration flow for the agent or provide basic insights around the agent status, whether the connection was successful or if there's an error. <clears throat> and we still have some ongoing work around the gitlab.com deployment. Um, actually, the majority of these issues, even though seem to be finished in 14.0, that's not true. We just don't have the issues that we move on. Uh, for example, with the management, with the CI tunnel, we know that it will require some infrastructure changes as well on gitlab.com, and we are almost sure that we won't be able to ship all of it in 13.11. Uh, the same holds for management interfaces, not because of infrastructure changes, but simply the, the size of the work and the required front end work there. So we don't want to actually to ship everything under this epic, but want to ship the first most important items. Then we are restarting our work on uh, the jobs to be done for our categories together with Maria. Actually, our top priority until 14.0 is the following one, which is to deprecate and remove one-click GitLab managed apps. Um, we, in the first iteration, we are providing support to bring your own Prometheus setup where we document how users can set up their Prometheus and then they can just check a box to say that everything should be accessible for GitLab as we required. We want to ship the Terraform module registry. Thanks to the amazing work of the package team, we might be able to ship a relatively valuable portion of our plans in 13.11, um, but there will be still ongoing work afterwards. And we have planned to work even more later on that, around the Terraform registry, but that's uh, really about the roadmap size, not for the next milestone. So let's see specifically what we want to deliver in a priority order in the next month. And let's start with, with our UX work. So I'm going to ask Maria, please present our plans for the next milestone. Thank you. 
Um, so the first item is a very small design enhancement to enhance the agent listing under the operations Kubernetes um, menu with uh, information that will be useful at a glance for the user that uh, is inspecting the list. Information uh, like whether the agent is uh, connected, so the connectivity status, when uh, it last uh, communicated with GitLab, uh, what's the version, the Kubernetes version, uh, the namespace, um, and information as such, so that the user will not need to uh, go into an agent details page, which we don't have yet anyway, uh, to get this information. The next item uh, is working on the auto DevOps vision. So working on the next steps, which includes uh, mainly um, devising a workshop for the team. Uh, so an asynchronous workshop or design sprint uh, for uh, coming up with the solution of our DevOps. Uh, this will include um, jumping to the fourth item, uh, the um, documentation of the jobs to be done and reviewing of uh, the interviews uh, around, um, well, not Kubernetes necessarily, but auto DevOps as well that Victor has run uh, so that we can inform the team about the use cases, the problems our customers are facing and then um, during the workshop, solutionize towards the main jobs to be done. Um, moving on, the next one is the jobs to be done for the for our infrastructure as code category. Uh, it's long due, so it's time to <laughs> add them to our uh, configure pages. Uh, so Victor and I will work on the main jobs to be done especially around Terraform, well, uh, around our infrastructure as code um, usage. And the same thing we're going to start uh, to do with Kubernetes management. Um, so these two are laying the foundations of our categories. The next two items are, uh, well, the, the first one is a foundations uh, it's a UI piece of work to create a new illustration for a Kubernetes agent, uh, which Jeremy will be working on. Uh, and the next item is uh, from the secure team. So that's related to other DevOps, but it doesn't fall under our categories and stage. That was it. Thank you. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to tell you with the deliverables. As I already mentioned you, this is priority ordered, unlike the roadmap. So our top priority is to, to ship the bring your own Prometheus instead of the GMA V1 Prometheus support. Um, this is to, to uh, allow us to deprecate the GitLab managed apps in 14.0. The second item is the environment specific variables at the group level. And then we have Terraform module registry, some agent related work, which is to define some conventional labels that are being applied to the cluster when the agent does some kind of some any deployments, whether it be pool based or push based. And again, we have some minor work around uh, providing new names for agent tokens. This is because we just added the possibility to add names to the tokens to have them more descriptive, and we have to default to new names there. All the other issues we have are stretch goals, including the auto DevOps async design sprint that was mentioned already by Maria. The reason why this is a stretch goal and not a deliverable is because we don't have the scope of it yet. As a result, the engineers could not uh, take it as deliverable, but actually we try to communicate it continuously. That this is very important for not just for the team, but for the whole company. And uh, we want to work on it as much as possible and want, we want the engineers to have time dedicated uh, to, to work together with us on auto DevOps. The next item is something that we already mentioned on the registry new UI. It's still blocked on a few other outstanding issues. That's why it's not a deliverable again. And the same goes for the agent not being enabled by default. It's being blocked by other issues. As a result, we, the team was not confident to take it as a deliverable. 
I spoke a lot already about the content of each of the epics and actually all the issues here that are considered to be stretch are related to some of the epics already presented before. So I'm not going to go into details there. These are our top priorities. I hope it highlights very well. And I hope that you managed to relate them to the epics uh, as they were presented before. So uh, this was the release kickoff from the configure team. If you have any questions, please reach out to us on the S configure Slack channel. Thank you very much. <laughs>